Morning, afternoon, evening, or night, everybody. My name is Future Numbers. Welcome back to another video. So when I was planning on moving to Finland, I did a lot of research before moving here because simply I wanted to know about the history, the culture, the, the language, which I still suck at. It's one of the hardest languages to learn. But anyways, I went simply down this rabbit hole and I finally landed at this person that has captivated me. He is like the, the, he's like the Sasquatch of Finland. He appears with videos and then all of a sudden he just disappears and like, He's like a whisper and everybody fears his name and his name on YouTube is Freedom to Film. And now that I've mentioned Freedom to Film, everybody that's been watching this in Finland just immediately shudders in fear. They just lock their doors, they close their windows and they hide under the blankets because they're just absolutely fear this boogeyman. They're like the fact that he might just come out and just lash out at them at any moment. It's one of those things where you just simply don't say the name because everybody will just clear the streets and run away in fear. So if you live outside of Finland and you're wondering who Freedom to Film is, Freedom to Film is an auditor or somebody who just goes out and like records things. It's basically like a vlogger for Karens and Kens who just want to like change things. But the fact is, is that he just goes out and like harasses people. And that's what most auditors are doing now, simply just to try to get clickbait. And Freedom to Film is no different. Do I look stupid? This is one of the very first videos I ever watched of Freedom of Film, and I have been infatuated ever since. The fact that he's harassing people in a restaurant like by pressing his face up and trying to film inside the restaurant, and then about to do the same thing to a hair salon, and then a Finnish woman walks up behind him and calls him a moron. Absolutely hilarious. It's like the perfect comedic timing. And he is so oblivious to the fact that somebody called him an idiot. He's just like, oh, I'm, I'm an idiot? What? Look at me trying to spread my freedom of filming to everybody and just filming people in general. How dare you cross me, the myth, the legend freedom to film. But I did look into Finnish law and apparently this was illegal and then this happened not too long after. How are you guys? How you doing? Good? I'm gonna take your hand. Why? Why, sir? Why? That's right, he gets arrested for harassing people. And what does he do? The very next day, he's doing this. That's right, he just goes back to harassing people yet again. This man is not able to be stopped. He is like a natural disaster. I honestly think there should be an alert system to alert people here in Finland that if he's near them. The fact like an Amber Alert system, like warning you that freedom to film is within a hundred meter distance of you so you can just flee for the hills and run away from this terrible creature. The girl that called him an idiot isn't wrong because this happened here. Uh, can you please open this? Uh, I want to go, go through the sidewalk. No, this car comes here. Look, coming from the sidewalk. Listen, you listen. You listen to me. This is a sidewalk. This is car coming here. This is car coming there. I'm walking from this side. I'm walking in the sidewalk. And now you blocking my sidewalk. In my sidewalk. It's not your sidewalk. It is my sidewalk. Hey, be careful! This car coming. Car coming this side. Maybe the car will hit you. He can hit me any, any time now. So if I get hit by the car, if I get hit by the car now, no one care. Of course not. Because they're blocking my sidewalk. Just blocking the sidewalk. Go this side? You got fucking hit by the car! How dare you block the sidewalk for freedom to film? He is a god, a myth. 
that you must respect. You must clear out the sidewalk and lay gold and jewels wherever he walks. How dare you, Prism, just block this man from using the sidewalk and expect him to walk the streets like a dog. In all seriousness, no, there's literally a sidewalk maybe like 10, 20 meters back that he could just cross through and just walk around this little uh, line for Prism's uh, nightclub, but he just doesn't want to because he just expects people to just do things for him. It's just, it's just a weird like power trip ego thing. I don't know why, but it exists and it's fucking hilarious. Like most things on my channel, I'm just gonna keep getting more and more into the darker stuff. So he doesn't just stop his harassment at just everyday people or just businesses. He also harasses bus drivers, which are a vital part of Finland in where a lot of people use them to get to and from work or to doctor visits and stuff like that. And this clip right here shows him being the worst he's ever been. Yes, we sit and we go in the, in the center. Yeah, I go to the center. I want to buy this car now. I have no money. Excuse me, I have this card. I want to pay. Yes, I know it's empty card. I want you, I want you to put load in the card. Okay, me too. I'm not possible. So take me there. Okay, please, please take me there and I will pay for this. No, I want, I want to buy this. I give you money now. I have money here. Where? Somewhere where? 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 I want to buy it. I want to buy. Here, it's 50 euros. Why? I want to buy this. I want to buy it now. Here's 50 euros. I want to buy this now. I want to buy this car. How much? So what? I want to buy this. It's empty? Yes, yes, it's empty. Yes. Here is the money. Okay, take me there. Take me there. Okay, I will, I will wait. I, 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 here is the money. Here is the money. Here is the money. Okay, take me there. I'll be there. I don't buy here, so take me there. So weird. I don't know what's wrong with you. You, you, you can stay here so long, you know, but many people waiting, going somewhere, you know? You're stupid now. The bus card is something that you can get here in Finland to help you travel distances and be a little bit cheaper. And he is not understanding that he has no more money left on the card. It, literally, you can do it online or you can just go to a bus stop. It takes like five minutes to do. Yet, he is not doing that. He's simply just squatting his ass into the fucking chair and just expecting him to ride him off like a chariot into his new palace while literally holding everybody else onto the bus, making them late for work, late for doctor's appointments, maybe a birthday party, literally just stopping everybody else's life because he thinks he is way more important than everybody else. Really? There's no camera on a bus? You really have? Hello. Is this uh, camera in the bus here? Security camera? No security camera in the bus? You have it? Where is it? Can I see it? So looks. The security camera. You have security camera here? No security camera here? You speak English? No English? Alright. Does it speak English? Not only is he just a serial harasser, he is also possibly putting people's jobs on the line, especially the fact that Finland is very punctual society and where if you're late by a matter of like five minutes, you could technically lose your job because that's how punctual Finnish society is. So him just sitting there stopping every bus to ask questions and then just getting onto the bus to film fucking little cameras inside the bus for his own little fucking experiment literally could be putting people's jobs on the line. And this is kind of the dark past of freedom the film that he doesn't want people to know about. He's a very mysterious man. And he even personally tried to delete this next clip that's coming up and where he actually harasses people that are first responders 
by trying to call 911 in Finland, which still works, by the way, and then doing this. <laughs> we don't film. I'm trying to make a new phone calls to emergency center. We're trying to see. We're trying to see uh, if we can make. Uh, if you can try to make nine one call <laughs> nine one if it's working if it's not, if it's work here in field or not oh it's working hello hello is this emergency number yes i just dialed a nine one one Uh, does it work here in Finland, you know? Yeah. Does 911 work in Finland here? Yeah, what is your emergency? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry I'm wasting your time, but I just want to uh, see if you... Uh, if I dial number 911, it work or not. That's all I want to know. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Somebody who was a first responder, little seconds could be the difference between somebody living or dying. And the fact that he's literally wasting somebody's time that is very important in every single fucking country could mean that somebody who was trying to call about something like domestic violence or a car accident or a stabbing, anything like that, would be put on hold while this person was talking to Freedom of the Film, who, by the way, sounds extremely intoxicated in this video. I don't know why, he would ever do this and then post it and thinking that it's a good idea, but uh, he did. He is a bumbling buffoon, but that's not a surprise when you go down the rabbit hole of freedom the film. And if this isn't the first time he's been extremely intoxicated while actually doing auditing, which in this next clip, he goes to Alka, which is the government run alcohol store here in Finland, who is where he's actually extremely intoxicated and then harasses a cashier. To buy some drinks. And you said no. Why not? You thought you been drinking already. Yeah, I'm drinking coffee, yes. Here's the coffee, yes. Alcohol. Here's the coffee. Mm -hmm. Yes, what? what's alcohol? How, how do you know? How do you know? So that's, that's this is, you, you don't like me, that's why. You don't know what, you don't know what to sell me, right? No, no what, 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 what do you mean no? I'm asking you, give me service now. So yes. If you have drink today, you can't buy any more alcohol. I don't have drink today, no, I, I don't. Yeah. Let's say outside, since there's other So the law here in Finland, say what, if I have drinks? We can talk outside. Outside where? Outside the alcohol. Yes. Yeah, come on, let's go. Why I, why I have to go outside? Well, listen, there's other customers, I need to be... Yeah, I, I, I understand, okay, okay. Yeah. I go back, yeah. I go back here, yes. Here we go. So, so what? So, first, you, you seem like you have been drinking. And no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm just drinking coffee. He tends to delete a lot of videos because if they get a bad reaction or he does something illegal, he just deletes them so that way nobody really sees them. So I have to go to like a Finnish 4chan so that way I can actually get some of these clips so that way you guys can understand the freedom to film lore. But one of the videos I can't find right now is a video where he got drunk and harassed McDonald's employees. I don't know why he did that, but then he got drug out by other foreigners and got beat up. Then claimed in his other video that he got shot, but really he just got beat up really bad because of what he did. So there's a video of that. I can't find it. It might be on the Finnish Reddit I don't or Finnish 4chan. I don't really know where it is, but I know that video did happen. I am somebody who's a big connoisseur of freedom in the film. And the lore keeps getting darker. Free in the film doesn't just harass people, he also stalks them. Here's this girl where they were just having a nice meal at a restaurant and they flip them off because they don't want to be filmed. And that's perfectly fine. I feel like that's a perfectly fine reaction because technically filming people in Finland is not okay unless you have their permission when you post it online. That is by law. So Free in the Film kept going back to film this person multiple times which is the definition of stalking. There's, there's a fine line between harassment and stalking. 
he crossed that line. Finger, she give me finger. Okay. Why she give me finger? But the lore gets darker. That's right. During the height of the Ukraine-Russian war, when a bunch of refugees were moving to Finland, that being Turku, Tampere, and Helsinki, that's right. He was even harassing Ukrainian refugees who just got off the train and the plane from Ukraine and was harassing them. These are people who are going through the worst tragedy of their lives. These are people you don't know what they've seen or where they've been. And they are coming from a war-torn country to go here to seek shelter. And yet, Freedom to Film found it as a good time to go out and harass them. It's public area on the street here. Happy, Happy to do what? Remember. Remember what? Come talk to me here. Don't, okay. don't run like that. Wait, wait. Come talk to me. He wants to come inside. How he got, get the number? This guy is waiting here early in the morning and he can he cannot get inside. Can you explain me that? He's waiting here early in the morning. He cannot go inside. Why well, these people can go and he cannot go inside? Don't do uh, told me what? Warning. warning what? I'm outside here. Yes. Yes, sir. But if you are disturbing... I'm not disturbing anything, like how? You're trying to come inside, how? but you don't I'm, have No, here. I'm not coming inside. It's absolutely despicable. You should not be harassing Ukrainian refugees, or any refugee for that matter, because you don't know what they've been through, what they've saw. This is beyond disgusting behavior. I could throw away the harassing, I could throw away the stalking, but this is just beyond despicable as a human being. You don't know what these people have gone through. You don't know if they just saw their loved one get blown up on their way out of Ukraine. You don't know if their son or daughter or husband is fighting in the war. And yet here you are filming them and harassing them. It's disgusting. It's despicable. Everything Freedom the Film is and what he stands for as a human being, a lot of people would just flat out hate him. I flat out hate him. But I have a theory that can technically probably give this person a little bit of humanity back uh, if you want a little bit of a positive note to this if i can twist it in that way any possible my theory is is that the girl that was in the bus video the one with the red hair is actually his wife that's been proven that it's actually his wife nobody knows what freedom of film looks like a lot of descriptions are there but nobody knows his actual name or what he actually looks like I have a theory that because he's a foreigner, he moved here to Finland to be with his wife. His wife is known as an extreme local alcoholic. If people in Finland are telling you that you're an alcoholic, which a lot of people in Finland really, really like to drink, you're, you got a pretty bad drinking problem. And the fact is, is that she's probably out drinking the vast majority of the time, passed out at the bar, not coming home very late. And this person is derived of human connection. 
You can see it in his Reddit post here. There's multiple posts of AMAs that nobody's replying to. This person is lonely. So he's out harassing doing all these things because it's the only way he can get human connection. That's my way of trying to humanize this person. If he says that he doesn't need that and that he's actually perfectly happy with his life, then he's just an awful person. And there's nothing you can do, but that is my theory of why he does this. So I kind of pity him in a way. So Freedom to Film, if you're watching this and you just need someone to give you a hug and make you feel better, if you just stop doing these kind of videos and I just give you a proper human connection by giving you a hug, I'm here, dude. I'll, I'll give you a hug. But that being said, if you still hate Freedom to Film, here's him getting pepper sprayed. Razi me. Please. No, you stop. 